<laughs> so last hour we did some calligraphy on pumpkins, right? Well, now we're going to try it on leaves. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. We're going to check back in with Dina, hanging out with the calligraphy girl. Good morning. Hi, yes, good morning. Time for another Dina IY segment. And so we talked about this in the last half hour. There are a ton of trends now mm -hmm. going out on social media, on the social interwebs, um, showing things that you can write on. Like pumpkins have become a really big popular, you know, thing for the fall and people can write their names, their last names. And that's fun. But there are so many other things you can write on. So Laura Canaris is joining us this morning. She is the real calligraphy girl. And you have so many other options for us. Yes, I like to write on everything just ask my husband it's all over all our over. house so in case you didn't know the spoon says spoon on it in case you didn't know what it was right it's fine just in case. It's, just in case. Yeah. yeah okay so let's talk about so i love these little trinkets you have yeah. here and these a lot of these things i just got in like the dollar section at target and yeah. i just wrote on them so those were all from the dollar section and i wrote some harry potter um names on them and then i have like this little uh, wooden thing here I got from the dollar section. I got these also at Target and then I just painted them with some like regular craft paint. Okay, and see she is creative and crafty. Now if I tried to do this, the paint all orange I could get, but the writing is hard. That's where you're going to help us right exactly. now is the calligraphy part. But let's try it on, okay, for dinner parties if you're going to yes. have a get together. Hulisa, I know you get together with your aunts. Yeah. Um, how about Decorating the table setting with leaves with their names on them. I love this. How By cute. Way, you so have this simple. magnolia tree here, so this was perfect. Yes. And we didn't plan it, but we're going to pretend like we did. Okay, <laughs> so how do we start? So we find some leaves, yeah. probably dry them so, off to yeah, start. Exactly. And our camera person did uh, a little drying off oh, for me. I really Mark. appreciated that. <laughs> so um, I would find the straightest ones you can find. Okay. And then I would just kind of wash them off to make sure there's no dirt on them. And then you just kind of flatten them out. Okay. And you take, again, your Sharpie pen. Yep. And you can write whatever you want on them. So I'm going to give you this one here. Okay. It's nice and big and flat. And okay. you can write, you know, whatever you want on it. You can write you hazel use your pen. Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's do, let's practice hazel because that's fun. Yeah. Because it's fun. Okay. <laughs> and I would imagine too, the leaf's kind of pliable still. It's still kind of alive. So it doesn't just crinkle Exactly. Up. Okay. But you do have to use them within a couple days because they do start to, you know, to lighten in color. So you'd want to pick some um, up off the brown that are just fallen. That's a good tip. Okay. Okay, so I wrote hazel. Love it. And these are great for like, you could put it on a gift bag, you could put it on your table setting like you were saying. I mean, it's like the perfect thing. Oh, a gift bag's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, how do I mm. zhuzh it up? What do I do to zhuzh so it? So I can zhuzh it Yeah, you. let's have her do it. <laughs> she's the expert. So I'll just, you know, again with the oh calligraphy. You could do some little stars or something cute oh, on it. Nice. I mean, whatever you want to do. Okay. So the good thing about Laura, if you feel like your calligraphy skills are lacking, mine are. Maybe <laughs> yours won't be, but mine are. You actually teach workshops and yes. people can physically do this with you or they can purchase if they feel like they don't have time yes. for that from Everybody you. If wants a pumpkin like this and they don't want to make it themselves, they can just go to my website and contact me and I can make all the pumpkins for okay. you. What is the website? It is calligraphygirl.com. Okay, perfect. And can you, so you can customize names and it could be a real pumpkin, a f fake pumpkin yeah, that they can maybe be, save. Exactly. And they can bring me their pumpkins or I supply the pumpkins. So okay, I perfect. make it easy. Okay. And finally the workshops, because I know this is a really fun activity to do maybe as like a gift for a family member or a friend to do a couple workshop classes with you. Yes. I give two workshops a month at East Village Bookshop. And I do brush calligraphy, I do chalkboard lettering classes, and then next month I have my um, ornament writing on classes or my lettering classes. And so I teach everybody to write on something that's circular or round and it's just the most fun and I make it really easy. Okay, I love that idea, especially having, you know, babies around the holidays now. We're gonna have an ornament for every year she's alive, I'm sure, because that's what we had growing best up housewarming gifts you bring an ornament that's personalized to someone's home it's love, that. love it okay so Lara Canuris is her name the real calligraphy girl is her game and you yes. can find all her information on gooddaysacramento.com thank you for coming thank you for having me all right back over to you guys fantastic love all of those ideas Dina thank you 